Well done, Guardian. I will interpret the Darkness's messages as best I can. Although this particular form of communication is... logographic, composed of evocative glyphs. Metaphors, really. For example, this message... This word could mean protected, but it is loaded with subtext. There are connotations of blithe authoritarian forces, unshakable in their faith. The translation sheltered would not be sinister enough. Perhaps... Gelded. Clearly the darkness does not believe the Traveler to be as benevolent as we do. Continue your efforts. We have much to learn. This is a simple message. Eggshell. The term carries all the impermanence and fragility you would expect. The darkness sees the Traveler as something keeping us isolated from the outside world. It is a barrier we are meant to outgrow and break through. This construction is white. Not like the color, but the absence of color. An indistinct void, overexposed sameness of a thing long dead. The white of bleached bone of the Traveler. This word denotes the moment before a change, the cusp. The brink. But it is a repetition of something that has already happened. A mistake from which no knowledge was gained. The collapse. Perhaps. Troubling. Interesting. This phrasing is directed at an equal. The message here is gift. Something offered. In an outstretched hand. Magnificent. Commander, to what do we owe this pleasure? I've been reading your reports. The Darkness's messages are... Playful? I was going to say obtuse. Come. Have a look at the latest. What is it? A gift. This is not what we agreed upon. I don't remember agreeing to anything. You're playing a dangerous game. Good thing you're a dangerous woman. The messages you've decrypted have proved invaluable. Now we know how our enemy thinks. Tell me, what if the pyramids intend to exploit our curiosity? We wield their gift against them. And if it proves unwieldy? Then it will be surrendered to the vanguard for containment. Hmm. And what of the Hive? Savathun will not confront us directly. It is not her way. She thinks too much of herself. And too little of others. Thank you. I look forward to your next report. The Drifters are...
This message means contrast in the naturalistic sense, but also implies a judgment. Humanity assigns moral meaning to change, interpreting it as for better or for worse. Do we think of winter as evil because summer flowers must wither and die? We do not. And the darkness asks us why. This is a linguistic oddity, a back channel, a vocal nod, a yes. The darkness implores us to continue on our current path. Apparently it believes itself to be quite supportive. Curious. This word is bound to creation, but presented here as falsehood, something like unborn. We say guardians are rebirthed by light, but I do sometimes wonder. The choice to live again was not our own. This message translates to a state of decontamination, something like purity. Though this conjugation emphasizes loss, a purity through subtraction, willingly or otherwise. The darkness could be speaking to the taken memories of new guardians, or the boundaries we accept when we follow the light. The limitations forced upon us... Hmm. In truth, it could refer to many things. This is a term for action born out of supreme conviction. Single-minded dedication, almost zealotry. Driving extreme behavior. Great atrocities can be couched in valor, it suggests. Oh, wait. Not can be. Will be. Future tense. Interesting. This message isn't directed at us. One translation might be petulant. The equivalent of a condescending wave of its hand or a wagged finger, like a parent rebukes a stubborn child. I think this might be meant for Savathu. This is a biological term like camouflage, but this wording pertains to stalking predators Specifically, a carnivore disguising itself to get close to its prey. The darkness could mean this as a warning. Or it could simply mean to sow dissension among us. This message denotes a continued inevitable movement. Falling would be a suitable translation, though the outcome here is not necessarily negative. The die is cast, as the light from a distant star takes time to reach our eyes, an event we cannot yet perceive has already occurred. Nacris is an abomination, his name stricken from the world's grave. 
You've done well to purge his stain from this failing court. Why would Sabathun work with him? With? Nacris is an exploited outcast, Little Light. A necromancer. Though I'm sure the Taken Queen saw value in his craft. Death rituals to buck the worm's game. I dare not wonder how she meant to wield that knowledge. We shouldn't dwell on it, you know. He's not coming back from that. Good riddance. Savathun's haze has diminished considerably, though not completely. She's still out there, hiding. And I hope she saw what became of her brood. Hold still. I will fetch you. Don't you see? It is as we once said. In light, there is only weakness. Only failure. Only death. But where the light takes, the dark gives. No longer will you be a pawn. No longer will you watch the lives of those you care for be lost. Remember, in darkness there is only strength. Only victory. Only life. Ancient power awaits you on Europa. This transmission can be translated as contact, not physical, more ethereal, influential. It is conjugated here as an action with a singular subject, but innumerable objects. Guardian, what if we are not the only ones to whom the darkness speaks? <laughs> 